Hello, everybody. Hey. Uh, we're here. We're here. Where's here? Uh, the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Let's show you that. You probably can't see much. Nope. But it's definitely May. And we, you know why we're filming we this made inside? It. Um, because it's the start of really racing season in May in Indianapolis. It's the IndyCar GP weekend. So this uh, car is on there's the cars track. on the track right now practicing for the IndyCar Grand Prix. And uh, we're here for that and for uh, an event called Bulldog at the Speedway. Or Bulldog at the Brickyard. I don't know what they call it. It's a brunch event for alumni and friends. Trip's excited, as you can tell, because they have a breakfast buffet. Um, our buddy Ed Carpenter. Yeah, are you wearing the shirt? car driver, team owner. Yeah, are you, are I'm you wearing, wearing the shirt. So it's yeah, cold out. It is a little chilly. But I still have the shirt on for the shop. You can get this shirt at the shop. Boom. Double double branded Ed Carpenter, Ed Carpenter Racing, and uh, Butler University, because he's our dog. He's gonna stop by the event. Probably some other great people. I don't know. We'll show yeah. some remarks. So we'll show the dog walking around the Indianapolis Motor Speedway because that's a normal thing that happens in Indianapolis. We'll show you we'll show you the buffet. We'll uh, show you Ed, his remarks. Maybe we'll ask Ed some questions. Um, we Ooh, have some Evan questions. Evan questions so for Ed. Ed's busy, right? We know that. He's He's got a team. But not racing. really this weekend. He's not driving this weekend. So he's if we can ask owner. him some Evan questions, we're going to do that. Uh -huh. um, I'm going to try to sneak down to the track, see if I can get some video of some cars on track. Absolutely. It's going to be amazing. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hi, Michael. So where are we geogra geographically? Oh, if we you are in the chalet. So area. Pagoda's right yeah, there. Pagoda. Turn one. So officially the Pagoda Plaza. Turn two. And then the chalet area. Okay. Um, and we are, you know. In the infield. Directly east of the start finish line. Okay. And the pits. And then uh, on the other side of the chalet is the garage area. So we're, we're right in the heart of it all. We're in the infield. We can hear the cars. I think testing is paused right now. Yeah, it sounds breaking the action. Somebody probably slid off a track inspection. Hey, thank, hey, you, good thank you again for being here, you guys. Yeah. And here we are. We're here. Welcome. We have a great butler sign right here. A whole bunch of tape. It looks like we have some princesses here. It smells good in here. I might, I might guys have to take you up to the buffet. So one thing we didn't tell you, Miss Kennedy's here with us today. And she's gonna take us through this buffet line to see what we got. Looks like we have some, maybe some fried biscuits, maybe. What is that? Mm -hmm. Fried donut, fried di biscuit. As well as some apple butter to put on those. Nothing more Indiana than apple butter on some fried biscuits. And then after that, looks like we have some scrambled eggs. Some hash browns. And then some breakfast sausage. Not a bad spread at all. Money. That's money. Okay. All right, gang. I'm gonna take a couple here. I'm gonna do one more. Got it. Uh, my remarks are, are really short. Mark Moore was hoping that I would uh, share with you my five-point strategic plan for alumni and development at Butler, but I'm going to do that later. And instead, I'm going to do something that you're probably more interested in, which is uh, introduce someone that really needs no introduction, certainly not at May and certainly not at the Speedway, which is owner, driver, and proud Bulldog Butler alum, Ed Carpenter. Ed, thank you. Speedway. It's obviously my favorite time of the year being out here, and it'll be a little better Tuesday when we start practice with the 500 when I'm on track. But uh, this is this is the first on track activity for the month, so it's a good good start for the team. Uh, I'm sure most of you know me, but we run two cars full time. So Spencer Pickett drives my 21 car all the time. He was P2 this morning in practice, and the other head, Ed Jones, drives the car that I race on the ovals over there, of course, is thinking it up 14th. Uh, but he only is one set of tires, so he's in pretty good shape. But uh, other than it being cool, I hope you all have a have a great day out here. We practice again at 12.30, and they qualify 
at 4.30 today. So I hope, hope all of you stick around and uh, more importantly, follow, follow me the rest of the month and pay close attention. I'm carrying the Butler Bulldog logo on, on my helmet all month long. So I'm really excited and proud about that. Just, It's always a sense of pride, just like all of you, to represent our university, to, to be able to, to put the Bulldog on a worldwide stage like the Indy 500. So hopefully that'll be that last bit of luck that I need to finally win this race after getting close so many times. So looking forward to the month of May. Hopefully I'll see a lot of, of you out here all month long. And here's to a successful month. Have fun with it. way to introduce me a crowd like this is forget everything else and just say uh, just call me a bulldog because that is absolutely what I am you know I have Indiana University on my resume as a law degree I'm telling anybody that I tell everybody I'm a bulldog I love what Butler stands for uh, I love the network of people that represents um, the blue and white that we all love so much I love the fact that I get to represent the Hankel Field House of racetracks the Indianapolis Motor Speedway it is uh, pretty neat connection when you think about sports across the country that two of the most iconic sporting venues in the world sit within just a few miles from each other. And it is true, I chose Butler University over DePaul because it was close to Indianapolis Motor Speedway. It's probably a bad decision really, but it was what I wanted to do. I love the sport so much, I wanted to be around it and, and you could the Landry Pie House wasn't air conditioned, so the windows were open, and you could hear Indianapolis Motor Speedway testing. And back then, uh, in the 80s, testing happened an awful lot more out here. So anytime you could hear those cars running, I would get in my car, sit in the museum parking lot, occasionally sneak under the fence and try and sit in the grandstands until they actually came and kicked me out. I chose journalism because I thought I want to write about racing. I'm not ever going to be able to probably race racing. I have had an opportunity over my life to do a lot of racing. In fact. I competed here last year, actually won a Formula Ford race here last year, and I burned my foot so badly in July last year, I couldn't wear a shoe for eight weeks in one of the cars that I drove. And my wife, so I'm 50, well, I was 51 then, I'm 52 now. My wife used that as an example to remind me that I needed to grow up. And she thought that my burned foot was going to keep me from driving again. I just uh, made a commitment to run again in the vintage race out here in the same car that burned my foot, so I can't wait to go back. The, the nerve damage was still in my foot. Um, as I stand here, I can still feel it, but it's not enough to deter my passion for the sport. And anytime you get an opportunity to run at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, it's like an opportunity to shoot baskets inside Hinkle Field House. You just don't pass it up, right? There's nothing more magical than, than those two sporting events. And that's the beauty of our community. It's really the beauty of Butler University is that we take history and tradition so so uh, so so seriously, and we try to modernize, right? We have to do that to appeal to that next generation. But at the same time, it's the history and tradition. Frankly, that got us where we are. And if you tore Hinkle Fieldhouse down and built another stadium, it wouldn't be, even if you named it Hinkle Fieldhouse, it would not be what makes Butler special. We figure out which quarter our DNA, and we don't leave that. That's, that's what we build everything else up on, even the changes that we make in order to make sure that Butler's around for another 150 years, the Indianapolis North Speedway's around for another 100 years. Uh, it's, it is uh, one of the cool things when you look at these two brands and, and how they parallel together. Um, before I go, uh, could the power of four princesses who represent your hometowns but also represent the Indianapolis North Speedway stand up? You know, one of the coolest things that uh, happens, the 500 Festival has 33 uh, princesses, and these are um, young women who do amazing things uh, in their community and then volunteer their time for 45 days to uh, represent their communities, their state, and the Indianapolis 500, but most importantly, they represent the Butler University brand. Thank you for doing that. I hope you guys have a great time and know that above everyone else, the other 29 of you, I have a connection with all of you, so if there's anything I can do to make it more special for you, uh, thank you. But thanks for representing Butler so well throughout the state and all you do in the month. Thanks. All right, guys, we'll see you in the field. Hey, uh, so uh, we, we crashed the party. It's a great uh, brunch event here at the track. And uh, now we're headed to the garage area. Hold on. Loud, loud, loud noises. noises. Loud, loud noises. noises.
We want to get a little bit more time with our driver, team owner, Ed Carpenter. We have some Evan questions for him. Some good ones. We didn't want to ask him at the event because, you know, we didn't want to make it weird. But, uh, it might get weird. It might get weird at, at his garage now. So we're going to head uh, to Gasoline Alley. Hey, guys. Uh, and uh, make our way back through the garage area to the Ed Carpenter Racing Garage. Track it down. Ask him some Evan questions. It's going to be great. Let's go. All right, we have this phenomenon called Evan questions. So basically, I'm just going to ask you a lot of weird questions. Okay. Rapid fire. All right, number one, have you ever sneezed in your helmet during a race? Yes. How awful is that? Uh, that's not okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, what happens if your foot itches during a race? That doesn't happen. Okay. Um, you ever try to like reach for a turn signal when you're around the track? No. Nope. Okay. Um, how hard is it to turn right for the first time after you race? Uh, it's different in a regular car. It's not a problem. Okay. Um, all right, big question. You got to build a basketball team using only IndyCar drivers. I need a head coach as well. Head coach. I'll go Tim Sindrick because okay. he's a basketball player for our head coach. Um, from there, I'm going to go Graham Ray Hall. He's got some size. Don't okay. know if he can do anything. But he's <laughs> size, body. Right. Um, is it active drivers? No, you go, go historic as well. Um, I'm going to go AJ, AJ Foyt, the, the fourth. Okay. Two. I've seen him play. He's all right. Um, from there, I'll go with New Garden. Three. He's a pretty athletic guy. Sure. Um, let's see. Who else have we got? Two more. I'm, I'm, it's getting. Well, is Cindric playing and coaching? He, if you want him to. Yeah, I'll let him play. Okay. Coach. <laughs> He's got a new hip. Player coach. He's got a new hip. He should be good. Um, <laughs> other drivers. Let's see. Tough question. Yeah, it is a tough question. I guess I'll throw myself in there. Yeah. Smart, so I'm making the decisions here. <laughs> um, and then after that, a lot of short drivers. Yeah. Yeah, they're making, all short. It's the stopped. problem. Um, Hunter Ray. Yeah, I'll go with Hunter Ray. I like work. it. All right, last question. Thanks, Mike. Yep. Do you ever get hungry in the car? And what's the first thing you eat after a race? Uh, you don't really notice when you're hungry in the car, but you're hungry afterwards. So, so. what's the first thing you go for? Uh, Generally, just whatever's in the snack bin. I like it. Like those new, nutri, Nature's Valley granola bars. <laughs> Keeping it healthy. You hear that, Nature's Valley? You yeah. could use a sponsorship. Bring some <laughs> awesome. Man. All right, we finished our Ed quest, our Evan questions with Ed. We're now outside the uh, Ed Carpenter Racing Trackside Garages, the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. We showed you their. Um, <clears throat> we showed you their shop, which we'll link that video in the corner. Won't you do that, Evan? Yeah, I'll do it. You'll link that video. But now you can see a little bit of their trackside garage. Can't show you much, but uh, you get a look inside. Here's uh, Ed Jones, number 63 entry for the uh, Indianapolis 500. Just hanging out here, Ferrari red. So we, can, we can take a look at that. Pretty nice. But yeah. We'll be back this month, probably have another look around here, but uh, you get a nice view of the uh, trackside garage here for Ed Carpenter Racing at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Spencer Pickett's car here hanging out. Getting ready for next round of IndyCar Grand Prix practice. And Spencer Pickett himself is about ready to do a little TV interview. That car is not going to win the 500, I'll tell you that right now. You better not. He's already won one. That's Ryan Hunter Ray. I know Ryan, I've worked with him, great guy, but Ed needs one. I'm going to call him RHR. Yeah, RHR. Ryan's got one. Whose car is that? Now that car is good. That's a fast car. Joey's. That's a fast car. You know that's a fast car right there. That's Joseph, Joseph Newgard's New number two Fitzgerald car. Hello! You know what's funny? So Tony Kanan is a famously short man. But dang. But that's just, that's they did shade. him dirty that's right there. Shade. Sorry, TK. All right, so where are we gonna go now? We're gonna go shopping. Okay. We got a couple uh, trackside official merchandise shops. So um, we're just gonna check them out and see if there's any Ed Carpenter racing gear. Trip stop. Hey, he's just doing a little landscaping. Uh, see if there's any, uh, yeah, Ed merch, Ed Carpenter racing merch, anything that catches our, catches our eye. Just see what's out there, you know? And uh, anything we see, Usually is available at uh, brickyard.com, so you can go there and buy it yourself. But we want to get ourselves some swag. Let's go.
what, what do we have over here? <clears throat> you can get a minifigure of uh, Butler grad and IMS president Doug Bowles. Amazing. They do have Ed Carpenter ones. I don't see them here. We showed it on your office tour. Yes, that's right. <laughs> we, we can link. We can link that video, can we? Yes, we can. You right. Can see that there on my desk. Any hats? Look at these hats. There's an Ed Carpenter racing hat. Where's the Ed Carpenter racing hat? Let's see it. Look at that. Got the little Velcro back. Green stitching on the black and gray. Nice. Now over here in the beverage section, you have a nice number 20, Ed Carpenter. They do, they have an Ed Carpenter one, as oh, well as yeah. Ed Carpenter racing one. Oh, yeah. So, one for each hand. Well, this, this originally, when this was constructed, it was the Formula One garages. Okay. Now Formula One doesn't race here anymore. Oh, course, man. When IndyCar uses the uh, reverse, they use the uh, 500 garages, so this now becomes surge space uh, underneath stands. So, um, yeah, they make a makeshift gift shop out of it. It's pretty cool. We'll so, see what they got. There's even more stuff over here. I love, personally, right off the bat, that die cut in and out smart speaker oh wing and wheel logo thing. I think those guys are blocking right now. Look, I, I need Ava, pull it up. Hey guys. Pull out, Ava, pull it up. She's a big Butler fan. Here, Ava. You want to get a picture with her? She has her own trip with her. She brought her own trip to the racetrack, guys. It's amazing. Get on one knee down there next. Good. All right, you two. Look up for mom and dad. Look. Trippy, over here. Trip, trip, trip. There you go. I know. Good boy. Nice to meet you. <laughs> So if I had a man cave, this would be in there. This big one, this sort of die cut alloy metal, it's 250 bucks, the little one's 90 bucks. And then they got like a full color job. I don't know how much it is. I'm pretty sure your wife can just make this on the cricket though. Oh, she could, she could just cricket this. Yeah. <laughs> Look at these shoes. Oh my gosh, you are kidding. Men's 11, I'm in. Wow. The Indianapolis Motor Speedway wing and wheel Chuck Taylors here. What do these go for? $45. Not bad. They got the t shirt hat combo. What's that go for? They're free. Free. I don't know what those go for. I'm gonna make something up. But they have, I'm uh, just kidding. Youth versions as well. Very nice. T shirt hat combo. I don't know what they go for though. Oh, dog section. Got Pride Bites, yep. wing and wheel, which Trip owns, right? But new Pride Bites uh, wing and wheel collar and leash sets. Looking good. So I know a dog that might need to get this. Is it that one? To wear around for the month of May. I think it's that one. If you're, if you're a dog with style at the track, sometimes Cause it's like, I want to watch the race, but I also wish I was playing around to 18. That's right. Which, you know, when you got a racetrack that has a golf course, you got to look the part. You look great, Tripper, baby. He hates us. Look at this Nike polo. Ooh, sure. You you wear that with these shorts, you're gonna be the <laughs> oh my, king. Yes. You're gonna be the king now, of the track. A, that's a hundred and seventy dollar outfit right there. But you're gonna be the king of the but track. You'll look like a million dollars. So yeah, that's a bargain. Take it with you what you will. Oh, here's an Ed Carpenter car right here. Um, gonna make this purchase. So this is your. Uh, Explain this, this, this to me. This was last year's finish. Okay. First, second, and third. So I'm going to take it home and rearrange them. Look how close this is, y'all. You had uh, Will Power, who won. Ed finished second, and then Scooty Dyson. Scooty Dyson. Scott Dixon in third. Okay, while it's quiet, uh, Dan, give you a little context of where we are. So we are on the front straight of the Indianapolis 500 course. Uh, but it's also the front straight of the Grand Prix course, so they're going the other direction. So they're coming out of pit lane now, headed into what will be turn one.
bridge. Hey, oh, is it on? on? It's on. Oh man. Well, we put the doggo at home. Well, well, what day is this? This is the next day. It's the next day. This is Saturday. We dropped, so Trent's at home. Kennedy's at home as well. It's, uh, we traded Tiffany for, or tri Kennedy for Tiffany. And that guy. And this is Everett. We traded hey. Trent for Everett and Miles. And it's uh, IndyCar Grand Prix day. Beautiful. We're gonna go watch a race. Let's do it. Hi. All right, there I am. So uh, yeah, about to kick off the Grand Prix here. It's gonna be great. Uh, yeah. Hopefully we stay dry. Yes. Ed Carpenter Racing. Uh, Ed is team owner for this race. So he's got two drivers in this race. Uh, Ed Jones, who's driving the 20 car for Ed, wearing the uh, yeah the preferred freezer. freezer. He uh, qualified in the back six, so he's starting in the top five or six. He fit. Fit. Yep. And then um, his other driver, Spencer Pickett, he's somewhere in the like, top 12. Top? Yeah, if not better. We should have paid attention. We should have planned this ahead, but we didn't. But so they qualified okay. Yeah, really well. Uh, uh, top Chevy cars. I know they're the top two. But Chevy I'll tell you cars. what. While I don't want to get wet, right? A little rain could make this race real interesting. So we'll see what happens. We'll keep you along for the for the for the ride. Yeah. Oh, I see what you did there. Look at Daddy's song. There you go. Uh, and then look up. All right, look at mommy and Evan. Wow, that's awesome, guys. Thanks, Firehawk. <laughs> so, square, square behind. Ooh, official pace car. Which, which color you want, Miles? Ooh, I like this this gray one coming. Okay, Michael, our worlds have officially collided. Yes, we went to the IndyCar tent, which we did not go to the day prior. Right. I don't know how we missed it, but we did. And we found the greatest collaboration of all, well, not maybe not of all time, but one of the greatest. IndyCar and Mickey Mouse. Oh, Disney. Oh the lanyard and everything. This could double as your race la credential lanyard, and then if you go to Disney World, okay. you're pin trading. Yeah, your pin trading lanyard. It's amazing. Amazing. A must have. Hey, Michael, why are we on the racetrack right now? Well, we're in pit. We are in pit lane. Okay. Uh, they're doing uh, driver intros right now. Right there. Right okay. And the uh, victory podium next to the pagoda. And uh, yeah, we're here because we got credentials, man. We got access. We got all this, all the stuff. So, yeah, who are we gonna go try to find right now? Uh, our friend Ed Carpenter, team owner. Butler Bulldog. Yep. See if we can check in with him. Get a little uh, pre-race strategy, and uh, yeah, go from there. Okay. Let's go. We found it. We found it. We found it. The Ed Carpenter Racing Pit. The Ed Carpenter Racing Pit. It looks good. It looks really good. We got a fast car. Good enough to get a picture. In the car, they're going green. I just heard. They're going to move up the start yep. because of rain. So uh, Ed Jones is going to strap in the 20 car and we're going to go. Let's do it. They look good as they come out of turn number 14. Will they get the green flag? Yes, they will. The race is on. It was a uh, cold start to the month of May at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, but Love me. no less fun. And uh, we hope you enjoyed our fo our footage from uh, Indy Grand Prix weekend and Bulldogs at the, the Speedway, uh, the Bulldogs at the Brickyard brunch event, some fun with Ed Carpenter. Um, it was a good start to the month. Yep. I'm excited to get back out there under some sunshine and warmer weather. Yep. Sorry this intro was like Monday morning at the office, but it kind of started to down for it. Like, we didn't want to get the camera back out in those no. conditions. We have the one camera, so. Yeah, so we we just sat out in the rain and watched the rest of that race, which was pretty exciting. I enjoyed myself. And then Carpenter Racing had a nice showing. Yep. We had a good time. It was great. The shower afterward felt really good, though. Yep. I gotta say. I agree. So anyway, we hope you enjoyed it. Um, looking forward to more fun out at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway this month. Uh, hopefully some great success for Ed Carpenter and Ed Carpenter Racing. Uh, look for the Bulldog on his helmet. Uh, this month, uh, that's a pretty cool addition, and yeah, I think uh, I think that's about it for us. As always, follow Trip on 
Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, mm -hmm. Snapchat, and like this video, comment, yep. subscribe to the channel. Yep. And uh, we're excited about um, our next our next video. Yeah, so. I have all the notes for the next video right here. You can't so, see so it. So you've watched this one. Yep. And the week later, you're going to have another awesome video because we're going to Colorado to speak at a live mascot conference. And the dog goes stay, stay at home, but we're going to take you along for the ride. So it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, looking forward to that. But until then, and until next time, and as always, go dogs! Go dogs!